Concepts are defined by language, and the language Meju Neteru of ancient Egypt is the most highly complex in the world. The emic insider approach describes concepts from the worldview of those native to it, whereas the etic outsider approach is a removed observation of what we think it is. For example, the emic perspective of ancient Egyptians that humans can become gods. Egyptian dead remain effective, aku, and influence the living. In Hebrew, the word for living, kayim, means immortal, and the muth, dead, are the corporeal. Ankhmut, living dead, are usually avatars given priestly titles. To be alive was to be effective either in a body or incorporeally. Neteru are deities and the deified dead, whereas an ark could be any dead person. Deified humans reoccur in Hebrew literature such as Enoch, Aknuk to Metatron, and Elijah, Eliyahu to Sandalphon, from the Greek Adelphon meaning brother. Sandalphon is the twin brother to Metatron, angelically. The twin angels of the Ark of the Covenant made on Egyptian land with Egyptian gold. Deification are people who have gone through glorification, saku, or apotheosis, becoming a god. Your identity is your ren, name, and hypocoristic names, nicknames, originated in Egypt. Invocation was done via a name, and cults to deified dead were kept on the down low as it was disrespectful to the king. The Sphinx, Heru M. Aket, and one's Ba, original coming, are the two figures that have human heads on animal bodies, whereas deities have animal heads on human bodies. One's Ba is a bird, the part of the soul that is mobile, and some researchers argue that your Ba is not with you during life. The Ba is the original part of your soul, which in Hebrew, Ba means to come, Olam Haba, the world to come. The Ba is the memory of who you really are. The Ka, on the other hand, is merely a double of who you really are that is shared across each lifetime of you in each Ka. One's Ka is your life force spirit that can live in a statue or even other people, such as family members. Neteru can share their Ka, life force, with priests and pharaohs, the highest priest, as well as in theophoric names from the Greek theophorus, bearing or carrying a god. Names, food, drinks and rituals are also sustainers of Ka'u, and a god was not ignorant of his nourishers. For Egyptians, only the corporeal dies, whereas everything else remains living. The Ark is what is associated with Heka. Only those who pass through the horizon, Aket, become Ark. Only those who go through Arkification become an Ark. An Ark is only when the Ba unites with all one's cars to form the Akaba, Intellect Cube, or Enlightened Cube. The Ka and Ba together is the Ark. An Ark is an immortal, active agent of Heka. Some Arks are favoured or distinguished but not yet deified, such as royalty. Pharaohs are favoured by the gods and elites are favoured by Pharaoh. Imaku care meant evidence of relationship to Pharaoh or a declaration of dignitary favoured by Pharaoh. Imak, preserved by the shadow of the king. Shadow meant associated or preserved. 
such as the part of one's soul called shuyet, meaning shadow, preserved.